Aquarius, it's your turn, the constellation. Aquarius. Yeah, start off with the Brotherhood of Light deck here. This deck here. Uh, Holy Spirit, would you think me into the soul cycle of uh, Aquarius? Constellation, Page of Swords, somebody could be spying or just keeping their eyes open on a religious leader, somebody who could be part of a religious organization. Uh, this uh, adds up to six, which is the lovers, so, in the soul cycle of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Should they be aware of okay, a religious leader walking away from a religious leader? Somebody could be, or you could be thinking of walking away from a religious leader. Hmm. Somebody's going over their business uh, plan or going over everything and walking away possibly from it. 16 and 15. This adds up to the devil, so it could be something to do with a Capricorn or a, a business, business could be just uh, hard work too. Capricorn sometimes mean hard work. At the bottom of the deck we got going over business uh, plan. So um, the heart of the situation for Aquarius. Two. Okay, a passionate new beginning. We're possibly with a uh, Cancerian. This adds up to eight, which is strength, uh, like balance, feminine strength. Uh, passionate new beginning. This could be like a, some kind of lover thing or something too. This could be, uh, doesn't have to be. Uh, this is balance, uh, adds up to balance. So, passionate new beginning. It can be somebody that you're, you're, uh, you have the hots for too, or you're attracted to. It could be a Cancerian. Um, this can also just mean your car's running fine and forward movement and control, gaining control of your environment. And with the passion, all while there's a passionate new beginning going on. This is the heart of the matter. Uh, the challenge position. What do we got? Challenge position. Let's get this one more shuffle for Aquarius. Temperance and uh, somebody passionate about oh, This could be a Sagittarius. Okay, what's the challenge for Aquarius? Seven is options. Okay, the challenge is there's many options and you gotta pick the right one. So we're gonna have to do research there. So far we got two sevens, one more seven, and that's a warning of a major calamity or a, it can be a jackpot too. Now at the bottom of the deck we've got Sagittarius energy, so this could be your spirit team if you don't know a Sagittarius or you're not dealing with one. Uh, subconsciously, what you're thinking of there, Aquarius, is win at all costs. This is, uh, yeah, win at all costs. This is like a um, do or die situation. Subconsciously is what you're thinking. In the past, we had this Aquarius. In the past, there was ten pentacles, uh, generational wealth. Uh, presently, Celebrating the ending of something. This is celebrating the three there. Give me one for the future there, Holy Spirit for Aquarius. The future, we've got two. Okay, in the future, you know, you're going to be tempted or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm getting this is the devil. Yeah, I don't think this is a Capricorn. This is 15, the devil in the future. 
so in the future he's gonna he always te is, is uh, tempting us right so that's nothing new I'm sure but it must be a pretty big uh, test if, if he's it's mentioning it so we are influencing this situation is nine of uh, coins so luxurious living you're not uh, too worried find about your financial situation um, in the hopes and fears, you're hoping for joy, happiness, uh, the sun, which is uh, things clear to be uh, revealed to, you, and happiness. This is the happiest card you can get in the deck, so you're, I'm getting it. You're hoping for happiness. That's a good thing to hope for. And the lens you're looking through is... Nine of Swords. Okay, the lens you're looking to could be a little foggy because you're you're in your head a little bit too much. But did you air you air signs? That's like your your where you guys are are, are usually. Like this is your where you guys feel comfortable. So that makes sense. You're in your head a lot. How many nines have we got? Here we got two nines, two sevens. So one more nine, one more seven. Hmm. Nah. Nine and nine, okay. In the environment, so right now you're in your head a little bit. You're in the uh, environment right now. Somebody could be coming in with a love offer or an apology of some kind, some kind of heartfelt gesture in the environment. We'll clarify it uh, in a bit here. Uh, outcome. What do we got for outcome? We've got a page of pentacles, so there could be somebody learning something in the outcome student or somebody bringing a gift. Okay, six of cups is um, somebody from the past, a student from the past, maybe somebody you studied with in the past, or somebody could be bringing you a gift from the past. Uh, and you're going to have to plan for the future because of this. This adds up to eight. Nine, which is the hermit, maybe go within about it. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we've got Sagittarius. So your spirit team is all over this, whatever it is. Um, we've got an alchemy deck, Let's clarify, who's this? Let's get out of Cesis mode and into, uh, we've seen that. Yeah, we've seen that. Um, what's this, uh, passionate new beginning with, uh, can't see me. I said shuffle it a few times here. Knight of Swords. So somebody rushing in doing something quick, sailing on the calmer waters, and the seven, which is can't see me, the chariots. Pentacles could be involved somehow, business owner. This Cancer could be a business owner, or this too adds up to seven, so Cancer. Mm, the Six of uh, Swords again. Okay. So, who's this Cancer in the uh, heart of the situation? Holy Spirit. Wheel of Fortune. This is a faded event. There's somebody who could, who could maybe keeps you wheel spinning up, up front, up. Uh, Upright, keep you maybe good luck. Uh, Cancer. Um, if this is a faded event, whatever this is, especially in the beginning with this Cancer. Uh, what, but who, how, how is, uh, who is this person? Okay. Ooh, imprisonment and a Queen of Swords. Somebody who, this adds up to nine, the Hermit, so this could be a. Virgo or um, the Queen of Swords is like uh, somebody who takes no shit and with the imprisonment here. This could be a cop. This is a faded event. It could be a cop because this, you know, right behind it is imprisonment. So, or like a spiritual cop. Or this is eight adds up to nine. It could be a Virgo since we had. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. This is a faded event, whatever it is, though. So, 
your challenges uh, options. Maybe you have too many options. At the bottom of the deck, we've got a Knight of Pentacles, so an earth sign or business owner. Uh, what's this uh, option? Which one is the right one for Aquarius? Holy Spirit. Okay, harmonious change. You're trying to harmonious change. So many options and harmonious change. So you're trying to go through these options without ruffling too many feathers. This also adds up to nine. So bottom of the deck is uh, this could be a Virgo business owner. Uh, subconsciously you're thinking about winning at all costs and being meticulous and Possibly something to do with the Sagittarius, because temp, temp uh, ranks just showed up. So you're trying to be very careful not to, maybe, um, you're being very meticulous in perfecting something. And you want to win at all costs. And you could be, it may, this could be against the Sagittarius, or your, your, um, yeah, or this is your spirit team helping you. Subconsciously, this is just what you're thinking of subconsciously, right? 14 and 8 to add up to 22. So you could be giving something to 22, maybe something to do with a Sagittarius. You could be ending a relationship with them, possibly. Uh, in the past, you had 10 of Pentacles. What do you want to tell us about this Holy Spirit? Okay, yeah, the past. Giving and receiving uh, from a Scorpio. This is death. This adds up to uh, six, and this is nineteen. Adds up to the sun, so light will be shed on something to do with the Scorpio giving and receiving. Uh, in the past, presently there's celebrations going on. It's tis the season. And this isn't possibly where you'll meet this uh, Cancerian, this, uh, whoever this um, is in the heart of the situation with this passion in the beginning. Uh, that adds up to four, which could be an emperor, or um, yeah, emperor, or an Aries, something to do with the government. And why, why is the devil in the future here? So that one, one, two, three, four on the clock. Okay, because somebody in the future, look out for, because this is a reverse thing, man. This is not getting another look at things. This is maybe getting unstuck, but it's also an unrighteous sacrifice, whatever it is. And that's why the devil's here, clarifying the devil in the future. So 15 plus 12 is 20. So 27, so somebody could be 27, or born in 72. Um, could be uh, something to do with the Pisces. Uh, the way you're influencing this is luxurious living. So living comfortably financially wise. In it. Okay, this could be because of a religious organization, or a Taurus, or a uh, priest, or religious person of some kind, this adds up to a completion, though, with nine and, and uh, heart kernel, actually adds up to 14, which is your spirit team is going to handle that, uh, hopes, and you're hoping for a sun, a sunnier leaves, happiness, and joy, and tell us about this Holy Spirit, okay, well, this is, uh, Faith, hope, and healing, that's your, your energy there, and go deep within about this, deep within uh, meditation, and this will add up to a passionate new business opportunity, and that's how you get your happiness, is what Spirit's saying there. The lens you're looking through is you're in your head quite a bit. So you guys, this is where your air signs usually are, you get got your intellectual, so your intellectual is taking it. The lover is okay. The lens you're looking through, you could be intellectually in your head about a Gemini or a Sagittarius. A hyper, somebody who's very highly intuitive. And maybe a contract with somebody who's highly intuitive. Six, seven. 
eight adds up to feminine strength. So they're like well balanced person who's uh, maybe there's you have a contract with or yes, seven, eight. This adds up to balance and strength, so that's I'm thinking that's a good way to look at it. Now in the environment there's a king of cups, so somebody who's a master feeling in the environment currently right now. This could be the Cancerian, I'm thinking. This, yeah, that would be a King of Cups. What's this here? The Knight of Wands. Okay, somebody who's very passionate. And it's clarified by the Cancerian. So it is this Cancerian. This, this Cancerian's in the environment right now, of course. The outcome is a Page of Pentacles, a student uh, from the past, planning for the future. What's this all about? Holy Spirit. This one? This is ten burdens. So whoever this is can bring you to, is gonna bring you ten burdens, I'm thinking. You're planning for the future though. What else do you want to tell us about this person? They're hiding something. They, there's a secret that they're hiding that they know about. They, they're not privy to everything that they know, I'm thinking. And it ends up to 14, which could be something to do with the Sagittarius. Something to do with their spirit team, I'm thinking. Um, what, do, what else do you want? Okay, why is Sagittarius on the underlying energy here? Or their spirit team? Why is this your Holy Spirit? Okay, because uh, six, sailing on the calmer waters, and that's the truth, Spirit saying. So the reason Sagittarius is here is because they're sailing on the calmer waters. The Spirit says that's the truth, for clarity possibly, or for the truth. Uh, so that's up to seven again, which is this Cancer again. So what's your advice for, uh, what's your advice for, um, Aquarius, in this scenario there, Holy Spirit. Eight of Wands. Wait for quick coming in messages. Quick coming in messages will tell you what to do. Uh, anything else you want to tell them about? Hmm. Just nine. Watch, I guess, be careful of staying in your head because it is a... That's the lens you're looking to right now. Nine of Swords. So you're in your head thinking about this over and over again. Maybe take a break from that. Maybe you might drive yourself nuts. Anything else? Holy Spirit. For Aquarius. Uh, okay. Heartbreak. And. Seven of Cups. Options and Heartbreak are coming to an end. So options and heartbreak are coming to an end. So that's a good thing because it's a completion. Three and seven add up to completion. So that's just an assurance I'm thinking. 